Right. So, a lot of you know that there are tons and tons of extremely talented people within the 3D printing community. Like Thingiverse user Emmett, who designed these gear bearings. Now, these are one of my favorite pieces to print, and they're super fun to play with. And people have even modified them to make these cool little spool bearings, which I use quite a bit. But I wanted to see if these worked in a mechanical application. So this month, we tried to 3D print a gear bearing that goes in the mid-bottom bracket of a BMX. So the first thing we'll have to do is modify Emmett's original file so that it has the same dimensions as the original bearings. And then from there, we can send it to the printer. While it's printing, we'll get ahead of the game and we'll start taking apart the crank arms. Start by undoing all the bolts on the non-drive side. Once we get the bolts all undone, we're going to take a rubber mallet and we're going to use that to remove the crank arm. By this time, the bearings just finished printing. So we're going to take these spacers off and just double check and make sure that the inner diameter fits over the spindle. Everything checked out, so now we can tap them into place in the cups. Once that's done, we can start reassembling everything. First, we'll slip the spindle back through. And then after that, it's just the reverse order of what we did before. So we'll take both the spacers and we'll put them back on, and then we'll put the crank arm back on after that. Once that's all done, then we can start putting all the bolts back. It's a little bit of a finesse game here, because we want the bolts tight enough so that there's no play in the crank, but loose enough so that we're not crushing the bearings. Now that we got everything back together, I think it's about time we go test it out. Let's see if we can get some shots at the skate park. So we got one shot and then it kind of disintegrated. This is all that's left of the drive side. You can see inside there there's a bunch of little plastic bits hanging out. It just kind of crushed everything. And this is the aftermath of our science experiment. Psh, yeah right. Who are we if we just let it end like that? We had to try different materials. So we went back and ran another set off. This time we used ColorFab XT. Let's see how these ones fare at the skate park. Now, where the PLA only lasts us one shot, we managed to get three out of the XT, then one of them even stayed together. I think we're going to have to revisit this at some point down the road. But in the meantime, if you have any suggestions about what you'd like to see in future episodes, leave us a comment. You never know, your idea might be the subject of a Will It Print Wednesday. Perseverance like a skill did it. Keep the wheels spinning, keep the mic dripping from spitting, crafting, and creating your new favorite tunes. We my pro all MUI and streets to go. Raiders of the North Park again, need to make room. Yep, we on it. Let's believe we're doing our thing. Not concerned what you think. We have to reign supreme. Whether old school, new school, we still on the scene. This is that D-Core team.